So Sean Porter versus Paulie Malignaggi got announced a couple weeks ago. I'm pretty nonplussed about this fight. It's not a fight I really like or I'm looking forward to. There's a lot of people out there who believe Malignaggi has the beating of Sean Porter. I'm not one of those people. I think Sean Porter will beat Paulie Malignaggi. Malignaggi has had some decent performances in the last couple of years against Adrian Broner. A lot of people felt he beat Broner. And against that guy who beat Ricky Hatton. I can't remember the guy's name now. Forgive me. He's from the Ukraine. So <laughs> put his name in the comment section below. I didn't get enough sleep, man. I'm, I'm tired right now. So yeah, he's had some decent performances. But for the most part, every time Paulie Malignaggi has stepped up to the top level, he's been beaten. Amir Khan beat him. Ricky Hatton beat him. Miguel Cotto beat him. You know, et cetera, et cetera. So... I think Sean Porter has got enough speed, strength, boxing skills, movement to deal with Paulie Malignaggi and to beat him as well. Porter's not stationary the way Adrian Broner is. And again, Adrian Broner beat him. I had Broner winning that fight. I can understand you can make a case for Malignaggi winning it. I'm not against the, the idea that some people had it for Malignaggi. I can, I can see you can make a case for that. But me personally, I had Broner winning the fight. And I believe Sean Porter is a better fighter overall than Adrian Broner. So, yes, Malinaji has the speed and the skills and certainly a lot taller than Sean Porter. But I believe Porter will actually use that lack of height to his advantage and will get underneath a lot of Malinaji's straight shots and he'll be able to do his work. And I think he'll probably beat Malinaji on points. That's how I see it. Again, if you go and look at Malinaji against Pablo Cano, that was a fight which a lot of people felt he lost. I know Malinaji got the verdict. A lot of people felt he lost that fight. And then you saw how easily Shane Mosley was able to deal with Pablo Cano. I know that these are different fighters and styles make fights and whatnot. But I just feel that Porter overall has the attributes to be able to deal with Malinaji. And I'm quite, I'm disappointed in the fight. I'm disappointed in the fight because Richard Schaefer, as soon as Sean Porter beat Devon Alexander, Richard Schaefer was talking about matching Sean Porter with Keith Furman. And that's the fight I really wanted to see. I wanted to see Keith Furman against Sean Porter. But somehow, Furman got sidelined. You know, God knows how that happened, but they've sidelined him and they've put Malinaji in with Sean Porter instead. Maybe they're hoping to give him an easier fight before they put him in with the beast, Keith Furman. Who knows? Uh, I don't know whether this was Golden Boy's doing or whether it was... Al Heyman, I mean, is 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 uh, Sean Porter even with Al Heyman? I'm not sure. I believe Malinaji is now, <laughs> even though he kind of criticized Al Heyman after he lost to Broner. Um, so I'm not even sure if this is a management decision or promoter's decision or whether it's Sean Porter's own decision to fight Malinaji instead of Keith Furman. Who knows? But me personally, I'm not really excited about this fight and I feel that Sean Porter will win the fight like I said, on points, that's my prediction. So drop your comments below. If you disagree with me, that's perfectly cool. <laughs> disagree with me and tell me why. If you think I'm wrong, if you think my prediction is going to be wrong, by all means, leave your prediction below and explain it out. Explain why you think Malinaji could beat Sean Porter. So yeah, drop your comments below. This is Hatman. I'm out.